Hi fellow developers, welcome back to the Qualcomm AI Hub video series. In these videos, we'll walk you through the first few steps of using Qualcomm AI Hub so you can start deploying your AI models to edge devices within minutes. One of the most important aspects of Qualcomm AI Hub is that it allows you to specify a device of your choice on which the ML model will run in the cloud. In this video, we will show you how to target a specific edge device when submitting a job to Qualcomm AI. First, you can find out which devices are available for running the model. Let's go to our Google Colab notebook, which is already set up for launching jobs to AI Hub. Run QAI Hub list devices to get the list of devices available. This shows you the device name, OS, vendor, type, chipset, and how to invoke it. For this walkthrough, we will target the Qualcomm Robotics RB3 Gen 2 platform, powered by Qualcomm QCS6490 chipset. We scroll down the list until we see QCS6490, and get the API call for this device. Now, we will bring the model we want to run on the device. For this example, we've referenced the pre-trained YOLO V7 object detection model from AI Hub Models. We also need to trace the model so that it is ready to submit to Qualcomm AI Hub. Now, we need to add the API call to submit the job and customize it to target the device of our choice. Since we are targeting the Qualcomm Robotics RB3 Gen 2, we can specify the device by adding the following. Device equals hub.device and then add the device name there. In this case, QCS6490 proxy. Finally, we can run the compile and profile APIs and YOLO v7 will then run on the device with a Qualcomm Robotics RB3 Gen 2. Here is a demo of YOLO v7 performing object detection on the Qualcomm Robotics RB3 Gen 2. This is using the model that's been optimized using Qualcomm AI Hub and is then deployed on device. We will get a link for viewing the results on the Qualcomm AI Hub, and that means the job was submitted successfully. Try this out on your own, and if you hit any problems or have any questions, please reach out to us on Slack by joining our Qualcomm AI Hub community. And stay tuned for more videos on Qualcomm AI Hub.